Midjourney isn't known for its spelling. Any other AI generators ready to take it on? There are two big first movers for generating text in your images. Whether it's a motto or a brand logo or a mug design, here's how they work. First, Pika. This is animation, but if it works, you can use a frame as a regular image. There are limits, such as the fonts you can use. The instruction for text is encrypt text, choose message, enter a theme. They're both necessary. You can then optionally add the font you want from a limited choice. Let me roll a couple here for you to see how well it works. Again, you can change the aspect ratio, which is useful. I'm even uploading my own image to start from top, but the result is not really related to that. Can't see text either. As usual with AI, we persevere. I would say more often than not, you don't get a successful result, but with this free tool, you can keep going, so that makes up for it. Well, this one is better. Now, the next one, which is less tested at this point, but has lots of promise, is Ideogram from Google. I do have a bugbear, with this being Google. We don't have any private channel options here. We all know the deal by now. Not everything that's Google's is yours. Everything that's yours is Google's. But what Google does give us is free. I do not love the images as much as Midjourney, but it can spell better. And by spell, I mean that unlike Midjourney, the letters are mostly recognisable, just not always in the right order. Let's have a look at what happens when I ask for a short phrase and a simple image description. This looks like a promising start for text. Not all of them are right, but the ones that are are great. Now, let's try Remix. These results are really nice. I can see these being usable as vectors on T-shirts or prints. Shall we test it with a longer phrase? This would not be possible with Midjourney. But I'm surprised how well it has done on just the first generation. The rate it is getting text right is really high. Well, that's a quick review of the two tools I've got the best results from so far. I wouldn't say that either of these tools have the same creative reach as Midjourney when it comes to the images, especially artistic results. It's a shame that wherever one AI platform has a strength, it also has a weakness, and there's none that combines them all. That would be very powerful indeed. But there's also no barrier here. Now go try them.